Hey there, Aries. Thanks for stopping in. Gonna do a uh, week ahead read for you. Um, we just came out of the 1111 portal. Uh, portal. We also had the new moon in uh, Scorpio. Uh, it's our sister sign. Um, I'm an Aries too. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that was. Anyway, um, new moon in Scorpio. So Scorpio is ruled by Mars, and it's also like co-authored, if you will, by uh, Pluto, which was a planet, then wasn't a planet, then was a planet, then wasn't a planet. Anyway, it's a planet again, um, which is nice. Anyway, um, what we're talking about here is that was a big weekend. Did you see anything that you uh, kind of forgot about yourself? Did you have any moments? Any high emotional states come through for you? Or were some adjacent to you? How'd they affect you? I had some happen adjacent to me and it got my Mars energy full on and uh, brought my aggression right to the surface. I'm an Aries with a Scorpio rising, so. Yeah. I know about that Martian energy. Gotta love it. I do, actually. I love it. And I also like truth, honesty, and things being up front. And honest. And let's fight in the light of day. Yeah, not behind closed doors in the of night. That will irk me. So I got to see my triggers, and it helped. It actually helped a lot. Helped me see other people's stuff that I was holding on to. That isn't even mine. Giving that back. Give it right back to source. Give it on back to source. Cause I, I love being free. How about you? I love being free. Freedom is its own reward. I don't have to be right, but I do have to be free. So we're going to pull one quick card for the overall energy for the week ahead. And we're going to do that from this Oracle deck, the Sacred Rebels. And then we'll go into a little Celtic cross with the Tarot. I've got um, a couple Tarot decks here. Just going to give a quick to that singing bowl there. Let's get it. That one card or two. I just want one. I don't want two. That feels like two. I want. Fine. It's like it's one. Ah. Uh... Nope. It's two. I knew it. Ah. Duped me, spirit. Okay, that was for me. Got it. So, the first card that I saw was Restore and Replenish. It's a call to truly nurture yourself. Um, that's not, this is not just a take a nap kind of card. This is do what replenishes you. If you're like an avid football player, go play you some ball. Okay, if like in my case, I'm a fire performer, I'm a fire spinner. I had to grab my fire staff and head down to this park here in Denver where some flow artists meet up and, and jam. I had to do it today. And uh, yeah, restore and replenish to replenish myself. So that's, that's real. That's in the real. And then this one is card number 26. Relax the hold of darkness. 
and be at cause. Talking about first cause. Talking about that primordial cause. Be at cause. Relax the hold of darkness. Relax the hold of the negative thought and be at the cause. And I bet you if you look deep enough, you'll find that it was love. Just saying. I didn't want to hurt that person, so I didn't say it. Oh, but they found out you lied, and that hurt them. The cause. Oh, the cause was love. Didn't want to hurt that person, because I loved them. Whatever. Whatever. Would you be mine? Earth Angel. I don't know why I'm singing the Earth Angel song. I'm doing Aries reading here. Spirit, please be with me now and always. But specifically now, to help me bring forth the most clear and concise messages to the Aries Collective watching this for this week ahead. Um, we're seeing the need to truly replenish and nurture the self, the body, the mind, the spirit and to relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. Six swords is in the unseen energy, moving on to calmer waters. Taking those thoughts with them, but they're moving to calmer water, calmer emotions with those thoughts to work them out. They don't leave anything behind in the Six of Swords, they take it all with them. So, at the center of the reading, we have the Ten of Pentacles burden. He's ready to be put down. He's almost to the town. He's carrying his burden into town to sell those those sticks. And he's almost there. Or maybe he's getting to that manor house to drop down the sticks for the firewood or whatever it is. But the burden is getting ready to be put down. So put that burden down, Aries. Crossing this new fast-moving information. A Knight of Swords. Incoming news, incoming news. I'm putting this burden down there. That's the news. Crowning the situation. Sneaky Pete. Um, Seven of Swords. A creative way to solve a problem. Um, quite often it's seen as the liar cheater card. Some people see it as the theft card. Um, I see it more as a liar, cheater type energy. Um, doing things in a less than reputable, sort of an intellectual way. It's, it's still the sword, it's still in the thoughts. It hasn't led to an action, it hasn't led to a, uh, a physical yet. But it's there. That's crowning, so you've got some thoughts going on, Aries. Some thoughts about a way to handle a situation that's out of the box. Let me go with that. So I don't want to be judgy about stuff. I'm trying to get away from all that judginess. It usually gets me in trouble. Grounding us at the root of the situation is a four of the swords. Taking a break from the thoughts. The sneaky Pete card. A lot, a lot of uh, crossing. It's another sword card. There's a lot of thoughts going on here, Aries. That's what I'm seeing. That's not our best place to be, is in the head. We're better when we're in the body and we're acting. Um, in the recent past, we had judgment. Someone called judgment, you know? 
the day of judgment. Anyway, and in the near future, more swords, more thoughts, two of swords. A blind decision must be made. Why in the head, Aries? Replenish yourself. Let go of the darkness. Come on, yo. How's Aries seeing himself right now, spirit? Okay, you saw it spun. I don't typically read reversals, but I went to put it down and it tried to... I had already was churning it from reverse to upright. Aries, you're seeing yourself as not moving forward. The chair reversed. Um, something's holding you back. Something is a holding a ya back. In the surrounding energies, the Two of Cups. That's one of the happiest cards, man. That's that love card. That's the Two of Cups. I freaking love the Two of Cups. I really do. It's like one of my favorite cards. So, you got that around you. Good for you. Um, what are the hopes and the fears we got here? The hopes and the fears of the Empress. Card of Taurus, card of Libra, card of Venus, really. Um, card of the, of the Goddess. Fertility, abundance, everything good, everything right. And the likely outcome is the lovers. So judgment happened. Um, you got this burden. All kinds of thoughts going on every which way and direction. You're feeling held back. But Aries, it's not up to you anyway. Get over yourself. I can't believe I just said that. Um, because you may be feeling held back. It's all coming in for you anyway. No matter what you do, it's, it's working out. Um, yeah. For your own state of, you know, you know, state of being, your own mental health, replenish yourself. Do what really, truly re energizes you. If you love rock climbing, go do you some rock climbing. If you love walking down to the river go walk down to the river if you love playing some handball in the back lot with the boys get the ball and call the boys okay go play some handball um whatever the thing is that you love doing get some of that in you and you know replenish you get get out of these thoughts you don't need that you don't need those thoughts because really what I'm seeing here is in spite of yourself, it, it's going to, I got the two of, you got the two of cups around you and the lovers is the outcome. So someone's loving on you and I got a feeling the feelings are, you know, mutual. It's a mutual appreciation club kind of moment, you know, and uh, you're just feeling held back for some reason. I don't know, up in them heads. What do we got, Spirit? Why Why is a chariot reverse? Why does, is their car broke down? Are they got a flat tire? What's going on with Aries? Why do they feel in this this sort of a way? What, what's, what is this about, Spirit? Talk to me. What do we got, what do we got? Because of Six of Cups, nostalgia. Connecting with people that you care about. And that's a problem? That's holding you back. Okay, you know what that's about. I'm not... There's other people who might be listening to this series. I'm not going to say it out loud. You know what that is. Thinking about... You're thinking about somebody from the... Somebody from the past? Or are you connecting with somebody from the past? What's going on here, Aries? Seven of Swords again. Sneaky link in it, huh? And you're thinking about that. You're going to mess up. Or maybe that's what... The, I, 
Aries, do what feels right to you. I'm not gonna tell you how to do this one. I'm not. Because we're each on our own timeline. We're each handling this all in our own way. But, yeah. You may follow through on that thought you're having. It might just work out the way you want it to. Okay, my, my camera's literally about to die. Aries, look, I got peace and I got love for you. Okay, I just did, that's the third time I've done that one. Uh, I'm just gonna say peace instead. I love you. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead, Aries. Thanks for stopping in. Be well, be safe. And it's not gonna let me shut it off. No, no, it's not. Yeah, my, uh, my phone's about to die. So I actually have to get up, reach over, and close it out that way. Later, Aries. Thanks for stopping in.